What's her name again? Uh, her name's Ellie May. What type of dog is she? She's a Mountain Fast. A Mountain Fast. Mountain Fast. They use their eyes, ears, and their nose real well. You might see them get up on their hind legs even. They'll wind and, and they, they just go, go get him, girl. She knows what she's here for. And that oh, dog yeah. immediately. Find you. a squirrel. She's, she's pretty accurate, this little dog here is, you know. Uh, I can't speak for all of them, but I, I like the I like the the breed just for the fact that usually when they tree there's meat there because you know they're not just smelling a track, they're smelling that whole squirrel. Yeah. That's up the tree. Look how she's jumping. When she starts bouncing like that, she's smelling something right there. I think she smells one right now, guys. She treed. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her biting on that uh, stump. That squirrel has went straight up into there. Look how excited and, uh, she is. Oh yeah, she's uh, she knows it's there. That's exactly where it's at. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Ellie. <laughs> we ain't gonna get that one. It's in a hole. Come here, baby. Right through there. That's a good girl. I usually just pack her a little ways. We'll go back up here and go through this gate. And, All right. And head up up this way here to the right. And she should have us another tree in no time. So. way we're going. There you go. She's got she's on that tree, buddy, both both front feet. I see the squirrel. I just saw the squirrel too. Squirrel sitting right up in the top. There's there's two. Is there two? I tell you what, Steve, you get in range where you think you can get a shot at one, and if the, if the other one takes off and we had to shoot at it running, I'll be ready. I was taught as a kid to aim small, miss small. I had to pay for my own shells, buddy. <laughs> what my uncle didn't bring me from hazard, so I'm real careful about the way I shoot. Ready? There you go. There's one. There's one more up there. Yep. You want to shoot it? He's right up in that same fork, Chad. <laughs> Told you had guns dead on. Yeah, man. Good girl. Good, Good girl. Nice job, yeah. Ellie, man. Good job, Ellie. Good job, buddy. You think they don't want those squirrels? I mean, I'm telling oh, you what. she loves it. Hey, we enjoy getting out here, and it's always good for the table. But you know what? That dog likes it more than we do. Oh, yeah. I mean, look how yeah, excited she, she loves is. it. Yeah, she's excited. I believe she's on the right. Stay on this side. Don't let old Ellie May tell us where we need to go, huh? That's exactly right. You see right there with the fork? It's sitting right there. It's a gray squirrel. She's looking right at it. <laughs> Here, Chad, you come get the rifle and I'll handle the dog. I got a pretty good shot right here. All right, go ahead. Crack shot. Good job, there Ellie. There she goes. Good dog, dog good dog. It. Nice shooting, Chad. Right, thank you. I'll tell you one thing, you've got a squirrel killing combination with that little 1022 and Ellie May. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lord. I'll tell you what, it doesn't get any better. You just turn the dogs loose, it's very social. Yep. We can sit here and talk and carry on, oh, talk yeah. about our deer season, and lo and behold, wait for her to bark, walk yeah, up there. Yeah, we talk about bear hunting, elk hunting, everything <laughs> else, and then directly you hear her bark, let's go. We've hunted everything in the state of Kentucky and got three squirrels. Pretty, pretty <laughs> good, that is pretty good. <laughs> hey, Lordy, good job. Where, where did this originate, using feist dogs? Even George Washington and some of his memoirs were talking about, you know, a feist. <laughs> Feist dog, and that's what they used to call them. Uh, you know, it's been that far back, but a lot of your poorer people, uh, your early settlers in the mountains and stuff, you know, they, they could have one dog for everything. So it was pretty much an all around dog. So that little fast dog was easier to feed and care for. So, you know, some families that couldn't afford the bigger dogs just took the smaller dogs and, and they, they adapted into all around uh, uh, hunting dogs, varmint dogs, you know, and, and now they're just specifically squirrel dogs. That's interesting. You know, there's always a good storyline behind something like this. And this entire breed of dogs, because they are cheaper to feed and can be trained to, to treat multiple species, mm -hmm. came out of the mountains because the people there just didn't have much. Some of your first settlers, uh, some of my people were some of the first settlers in, in southeast Kentucky, came in through Cumberland Gap and that way into Kentucky. You know, my daddy always talked about the old fast dogs when he was a little boy down there and stuff. You know, them getting snake bit and treeing possums and coons of the night and, and squirrels of the day, you know, and stuff. And uh, he loved a tree dog, and I guess that I growed up hunting with him, and that's what made me love the tree dogs. And I mean, I rabbit hunt and stuff too, and got them rabbit dogs and all, you know, that 
man, I've just, there's just something about a tree dog, you know, going, being able to go to it. It's just so much different. It is, and you know, your dad loved it, and I'm sure that it, it a little bit brings you back to your childhood. Absolutely. I, I think she's fixing a tree. She's tree. <laughs> there we go. We have a little talk and tree a little squirrel. <laughs> it sounds like it's the beginning of a song. Yeah. Talk to him, girl. Good girl. Oh, I see it. Going up the tree. It's up there in the top now. I can just barely see a little piece of hair there. How's that? Good girl. Good girl, Ellie. Good girl. I just shot at what I could see. Look how red that squirrel is down its back. Yeah, it sure For is. For a gray. I'll tell you one thing. She was sure it was on that tree, and I was not going to doubt that dog. No, no. There's probably one over there, too. There it sits, right there. See it right there on the top? Right there it sits. Oh, yeah, sure do. See it? That dog was on that tree. Oh, yeah. And we spooked this one out walking to mm -hmm. it. And sure enough, again, that's a, that's a fox squirrel. So we've got a gray and a fox sitting here side by side. It is a fox squirrel. Yeah, I know she had a squirrel there, and then when you seen that other, but a lot of times that'll happen like that. Get ready, coming down the tree, get ready. Here. Here, Ellie, here, 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 here. Here, Ellie, here. She's coming down, there you go. Get him, girl. Good job, Ellie. Good job, Ellie. <laughs> Fantastic. I tell you what, that is awesome. When you when you sit there and we walk in and we see a squirrel and we think, oh, that's what she's barking at right there. And I said, you know, look at that dog. She bites on my coat and everything. <laughs> look at her. Oh, God, I love that enthusiasm. <laughs> Good girl. We've got oak, scaly bark hickories. We've got tight bark hickories, big nut trees, the shag barks, scaly barks, same thing. Got red oaks, white oaks. There's plenty of big timber in here. And then you got these little locusts. That's pretty much their homes in there besides the nest, you know? Well, the woodpeckers have opened it up for them and just said, yeah. here, live here. Yep. All right, girl, go get him. Go find a squirrel. Go get him. Go get him. She always takes off. When you let her go, she always goes right in front of you. And Parks him in your All you got to do is, yep. it's like you're steering her right this way. You know, like a good lab dog, a retriever yeah. dog. Yep. There there she, is. she is. She's already treated up again. She's straight out. Yep. Straight out this ridge. I see it. It's a fox squirrel and it ain't very high. Here, Chad, bust that fox squirrel right in the head. Look right there, right here low. Oh yeah. Through the cedar. Good shot. Shot, Chad. There he goes. Yeah, man, <laughs> good job. I think that's number 10. Good girl. Good girl, Ellie. You know, Steve, you like to shoot these fox squirrels right at the end of the hunt so you don't carry them all day. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's good thinking. Look at there what Chad shot out to you, buddy. Look, Look at there. that, what a squirrel. Nice. Yeah, man. I'll tell you what, I can watch that dog work squirrels every single day. 